Hi, it's a Tuesday here in France. I had um, decided uh, in 2010 that I would slow down or even stop vlogging two years later. And in fact, since then, uh, my vlogging is, I'm doing less of it. It's still a really fun hobby. Um, and thank you for watching and, and everything. Um, but I, I've got a ton of administrative stuff to do here. Um, I'm building a new business and I have normal work and life things to do. So I know it, it might seem kind of weird and rigid, but I, I tend to put timelines on things. And as far as vlogging uh, goes, I had figured, well, you know, have fun with it for a couple of years, you know. Like, I did Facebook for a couple of years. Uh, I played two video games on Facebook for a couple of years, you know. Not that much guilt as long as I was, you know, going out to work and getting the bills paid and, you know, doing what I had to do. But, um, oh, maybe it's kind of anal retentive of me but anyway I'm gonna I'm going to do a, a little vlog for you now that's kind of girly and I don't do too many girly vlogs except for some cooking things and um, I haven't been out to do cultural stuff in a couple of weeks now so I don't have any fascinating <laughs> stuff of France to show you and no exciting travels to to share with you now, this is a catalog that I have been getting since about 1999 here in France. And I, I do export. I do consulting and export. And I tend to favor people who speak English, because otherwise it's a little bit too hard for me, or French or some other languages. I can get some help with that. But... Uh, I, I'm American born, so I like working with Americans. And there's a lot of cool stuff that I can get here in France. And even if I mark up the price and charge you for the shipping, it's just not stuff that you can get over there. So it might be more unique, uh, better quality, and some of it actually turns out to be cheaper, even with my markup. Now, this is a place that does quality women's clothing and uh, they're based in Alsace and I actually called them a couple of years ago and spoke to somebody in the president's office this woman it's apparently her business and I asked where are these clothes made and they are made um, in France in Alsace by declared workers so that was reassuring and um, this I don't buy clothes and makeup very much. I just really don't. Um, but the stuff that I've bought from this place over the years has been really good quality, and I've had terrific satisfaction. Now that now see this underwear. You know I don't really care about that stuff. I I wear the really plain stuff. You know. Um, but a lot of these, the, a mail order is still very popular here in France, you know. A lot of people don't have the internet. And um, what these companies want is somebody who speaks French, obviously, who has a French address, can receive goods at a French address, uh, who will pay with a French check or a French debit card, and that's what I can do for you. And I am not in the market to buy anything right now. I bought a lot of clothes and accessories and supplies and stuff a couple of years ago. And that's the way I operate. You know, I, I wait and I save money. And then I look around and I buy what I need. And then I stop for a, a long time. Now, one thing that I wanted to show you about this catalog that's what is this? Oh, this is something else. I should file that. Is that this catalog actually has swatches of the fabric in it. And these people want the catalog back. You're supposed to return the catalog. But 
I don't know about you, but I've bought stuff from catalogs before. And once I got it, I wasn't necessarily that happy with the fabric or the finishing. Now the finishing you don't know. You've got to wait until until you see it. But this place is really good. See here I can touch it. It's it's a real piece of fabric. So you can get some idea of what this jacket is like. You can really see the color. You can hold it up next to your skin and Wow, some of this stuff is, is, is just so original. You know, I just don't see this kind of stuff in most places. A lot of the items here are oof, close to maybe 100 euros. So they're not cheap. But I still have, for example, I still have clothes I bought from them in 2000. You know, they, they still look fine. I just took care of them and you know that's like 12 years ago so I'm pretty happy with this stuff and this is this catalog generally focuses more on kind of sedate French women clothing um, you know you're not going to find anything sexy in here you're going to find a lot of stuff that you could wear to the office to work in your neighborhood. I, I even bought a nice hat from them a couple of years ago. A proper a proper hat, you know. And I just really like this. So if you think that you want me to work with you on getting any of this stuff, and I want to let you know I am overweight, I'm short, I, I've always been a petite size, you know, my my arms are really short. My proportions are not good. I've been able to get fitted uh, by this place with no problem. And the sizes work differently in different countries. And we work on the metric system here. But, oh, you see this? I actually bought this a couple of years ago. I have this. It's sort of a, a vest thing, a jacket thing with a blazer. It looks great for business. Oh, it's nice to see this swatch. Yes, I find it's very accurate. And um, the finishing is beautiful. The buttons are beautiful. It's two years old. It still looks new. I wear it many times a year, according to the season, when I think that the color is correct. And um, they have care instructions given in the, the catalog. See, this stuff, this stuff is pleated. You know, I don't know if you know how fabric is pleated, but it's really, really interesting. So if you think you want any of this stuff, let me know because, yeah, it's it's more money, but it's very original in its styling. You know, you're probably not going to see anybody else. Oh, this one is nice. Look at this one. That's a really nice fabric. That looks. This this has no lining, so you have to be able to read French to understand what this is and how to care for it. But if you think you want any of this stuff, let me know. Um, you can see the name of the company, and you can contact them yourself, but I can tell you right now they're, they're not going to mail you the catalog outside of France or any other EU country such as possibly Germany that they work with, but I, I think that this is the French catalog for the French clients. And... Uh, I don't know how you feel about girly things, but um, in the past, when I bought really good quality business clothes, for example, um, they lasted so long that all I had to do was maintain them correctly and make sure that they were repaired if I damaged them. And usually they, well, some of them were so good, I, I wore them until they, they basically fell apart. But um, some were so solid that if I got tired of them or gained weight or something or, or just, just didn't want them anymore, I was able to give them to somebody else. And they got really nice stuff. Okay. So that's my two cents. I'm pretty easy to contact. I try to check out my messages every weekday. 
and that's my story. Bye.